perception or assumption that people have about you? Um, so I am a very light, okay, so it's like two and two. Because I think a lot and because my mind goes very deep and I really th feel like it's something that God has given me, like it's definitely a, a gift and um, it's an awesome thing, but also it's something that I need to learn to work with. So um, I, I don't like to go too deep all the time. And so I enjoy humor and I enjoy, firstly, I enjoy making myself laugh. Okay, I think like I'm, I'm, my jokes are dumb, but that's what's funny. So I enjoy making myself laugh and I find humor in making other people laugh. Like I don't think it's funny unless other people laugh with me. Like if people don't laugh with me, then I'm like, <laughs> you know, so, okay. So what I've gotten a lot of the times is like, um, you're wearing a mask. You don't have to make people laugh the whole time. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, and it, for me, it's just like, it's my it's my way of just lightening the room like you know if there's like an awkward silence and everyone's like this like i'm the type of person that will be like you know i sorry, i had to so you know anyway so like just to get everyone to lighten up so um also i feel that the best way to make other people feel comfortable like i'm all about realness and i want people to be real in front of me and i feel like the best way to get other people to be real besides the fact that you need to be real yourself is to get people to laugh so um i like to do that i like to be that it is who i am and i feel like the biggest misconception for me is that i accept on i don't know how to in english but yeah and so um that isn't me. It's just me trying to not escape, but just lighten up my life and other people's lives. Like I feel like life is serious and we take it too serious and we just need to chill. Do you know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you think um, like current society has influenced how you view yourself and how you view other people? Um, I think it's like, uh, the whole, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. So, uh, with pictures and TV, etc., etc. So, man, the models, the fitness industry, I look at those pictures and I'm like, I want to be like you, I want to be like you, I want to be like you. But we don't see the reality behind it. We don't see what they go through. We just see the happy picture because basically what they get to do on social media is to paint a picture. So, we don't know the pain behind everything and I feel like that is you know it's it's painting the wrong picture for all of us because if you if you see the good um, I don't know if I'm making sense but if you see the good in pictures and and all of that like you don't know what they're going through and um, so yeah we all want to be uh, like everyone else but like let's just enjoy who we are you know we're making idols of their own house and I feel like that that is it. I think now more than ever. Yes. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Oh and I was wasting angels, you know I could be using these ones, I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> is it off? My eyebrows are actually dark. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Because I got them done. That's and... a great. Okay, I was wondering. That's a great pair of natural eyebrows. <laughs> mm. They are natural. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. So, in what ways do you express yourself to the world other than you know how you physically look? Okay. Mm. Um, I love that question, and I really wish I had the answer. Um, you know what? That is, I think. We express ourselves through our daily living. So I think a lot of the times we're trying to find the answer to our calling, but we're living in our calling. So you're expressing yourself by what you're doing daily. But also there is that thing that you want to do. You want to live in your purpose. You want to live in, in your talents. Um, so I know that I'm, I'm an arty person. I love to act. I love to not only act, but I enjoy art. So I, I enjoy 
I don't dance myself, although I, you know, but like I love performance. So I really pray and I really, yeah, I really pray and I trust that God will take me into that direction. Um, I trust, I, I know that he's busy still building character inside of me. Um, so yes, in my church, I am, I am utilizing those. Um, you see my brain just went clean. What was the question? <laughs> How you express yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yo, so in the church, yeah. So I express myself like that. I don't really have any other platforms at this moment. And right now I'm expressing myself, I feel. So every opportunity I get, I do express myself. I love working with people. I love talking to people. And um, that is also another way to express myself and to help them through what I've been. Um, so yes, I want more opportunities and I know that I will get more opportunities. I don't have anything now that I can tell you is like a prominent thing in my life. But um, where my heart is at is, um, you know, the more arty things. Mm. Yes. Alright, can we go for the full face now? Yes! <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> Girl. Yeah, you can just double check. You see me, guys. You see you. You see me. This is me. With my chin and my teeth and everything. Yeah. This yellow, this yellow tooth mystery. It's yellow tooth. tooth. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> it's enough. Alright, so our final question is, at this stage in your life, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned so far? To, to let it go and to forgive and to God because without him I'm, I can't so yeah that's it Right. Thanks so much, Tanya. Pleasure. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm yeah. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Ah, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>